Saturday. This is Vlogmas day, day nine. So it's a little bit, um, not later in the evening, it's 3.44. So it's a little bit later start to the day. But let me just recap. First of all, you guys, I said that I wasn't gonna explain myself anymore, but I do owe you guys an explanation because we're doing Vlogtober. Yesterday, I did not upload a video because for one, well, okay, I did vlog, I did vlog, but I did not upload the video because my mom and my sister came and visited me today. So we, they were just here. Then they ended up going with me to the stores that I needed to go to to get the drink that I'm going to make today. So by the time that we got finished with all of that, it was pretty much too late. So now I need to, you know, go ahead and pick up the camera to vlog for today. When I was thinking about the footage that I had for that vlog anyway, I really didn't do anything but go to the gym and I came back home, you guys. And then I pretty much ended it off with me crying and laughing at the same time. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm not, look at this, tears rolling, oh my gosh, bye. And I was just saying how I was feeling so emotional and I'm about to come with my period and I just was like, Ugh. so I was like, you know what, they ain't missing out on that anyway. Now that we got that out the way, I'm about to make a drink, you guys. <laughs> so today we are making a drink, today is Saturday and if y'all remember, I told y'all every weekend we go make a drink, so today we're making a drink and I'm excited for this drink, you guys, because this drink, hold on, let me put y'all down so I can play. <laughs> Okay, so this drink is called the Smoking Blackberry Sage Margarita Recipe. I have everything. I went to go get everything. Let me prop my camera up so we can go through it. So this drink calls for 100% uh, agave silver tequila. So I got some, let me turn the brightness down. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. So I got some 1800. I have never drunk tequila. If, if I have drunk tequila, I didn't know I was drinking tequila, but I have never went and purchased tequila. So we're gonna see how this goes. I needed some lemon juice, so I got lemon juice. So I needed blackberries, so I got two things of blackberries just in case y'all, cause I, look, we need a one for trial and error and then a one for the real and then a one for me to actually drink. Then we needed some dash orange bitters. Honestly, y'all. Okay, so I don't know if y'all ever heard of orange bitters. But first of all, let me say about this brand. This brand acts like they ain't got no money because first of all, why does the label look like this? Why? You telling me you couldn't get a label to fit to the bottle? And this is how all of them look. So I was like, well, maybe it's just an accident. Maybe it meant, you know what I'm saying? Something was a mishap at the factory. Then I went to the ABC store and I saw they had the same thing, same way. So that's that. What else? Maple syrup right here. I have some maple syrup. I have the sage leaves in the refrigerator. I don't even know if they have to go in the refrigerator, but I put them in there because that's where I found them at in the store. And then the dry ice. Now you guys, that was the one that was kind of like, uh, I was like, do I want to make this drink? Do I not want to make this drink? Cause it was like, everything online was just kind of scaring me about the dry ice. It was saying, make sure you put it in a ventilated area. Make sure you don't touch it with your hands. Make sure you don't consume it until it's completely gone in the drink. I'm like, at this point, do I need to drink it? Finally found it. I found it at Kroger's. And mind you, I'm gonna insert, look, matter of fact, I'm gonna insert right here, the trip that we had to go on to go get these ingredients. I have no clue where it would be at. Is that it up there? I guess so, huh? Yeah, it's a cooler. Holds ice for 24 hours. Okay, we're gonna get this one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 
Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, you want to go see cookies. <laughs> Just pick it up. <laughs> I'm scared. Let me see. What do I say? Place dry ice in bottom of cooler. I will assume that you can. It's in the package, so you can touch it. What shit heavy? Well, I think it's one bag. I'm saying it's heavy though. No, this is a whole thing. This oh. is one bag. Okay, now that y'all saw that, that guy literally told me it was no more ice because the refrigerator was empty, but the dry ice was in a completely different section. And I asked him, do you know where I can get dry ice? I'm not sure. Like, so my sister was like, let me ask the manager. And the manager told us to the right place. So we did that. Anyway, we got the dry ice, you guys, as y'all saw. So now I'm about to get him to help me break this dry ice up because the dry ice comes in like big cubes and you know i'm putting it in a drink therefore i need to break this up and it said use a hammer i have it in the garage and it's still yeah so we about to use the hammer to break this up to actually put in a drink and you guys i paid 18 dollars for that dry ice just for me not to be i'm not gonna use the majority of it because i can't use all of that but you know what whatever i gotta do for the video and for the real and for the look we're gonna do that okay let's start all right so now we're about to break this dry ice i'm ready i'm ready that's all i hear i'm in the middle of a match i'm in the middle of a match i'm in the middle of a match i don't care i'm gonna go ahead and use my tripod to set the camera on for the real okay Somebody want to put it this way. I'm about to experiment because I've never. Oh, shoot, I got to take this off first. Well, why would somebody want to put their phone this way? Is it to hold it like this? I don't think so. Or to hold it like this? I don't know. I'm probably like, it's probably something so simple and I just can't think of it. I'm ready. Break all of them up, just one, one block. It's gonna, either way, it's gonna evaporate, so. You could probably take it out of that and I, break it up on the bag. On the bag? Or the like, food? you could just put it on the thing. Make sure you don't accidentally touch it. Is it easy to break? Okay, that's enough. It ain't, it ain't gotta be. And then, Thank you so much. Who's song got on that? Can you bring it back in the house? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, y'all. This is what I'll be talking about. I'll be so all over the place. So y'all know how we did last time. If you did not watch the video, then you're new here. Um, we are going to do a trial run first. Then I'm gonna record the insert the reel after that. So let's go ahead and F some stuff up together, cause yeah, I know I'm not gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be in here stressed out over nothing. Let it flow. 
We have all of the ingredients right here. Oh, I gotta get the sage. Okay. Okay. So I need this because I need the muddler. Oh, maybe I should wash the blackberries off, huh? Ha! Muddle the blackberries and sage together in a cocktail shaker until broken down and fragrant. So blackberries, I need eight medium blackberries. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five fresh leaves, five leaves, fresh sage. I don't know how fresh it is, but this what we have right here, y'all. Right here. So one, two, three, four, five. I might as well do the, always gotta do a little extra. Okay. Alrighty. So I have to muddle that together until fragrant. That's how it's looking in there, y'all. Disgusting. Pour in the tequila, lemon juice, bitters, and maple syrup. So tequila is two ounces. The top part of this is one ounce. So I'm gonna do two ounces of tequila. Let me smell it. Woo! Well, I ain't got time to be wasting none. Okay, so one. Two. Okay lemon juice so i need one ounce lemon juice oh shit. okay uh one teaspoon of maple syrup of maple syrup One dash of orange bitters. Look, just because it said one, I gotta do extra. <laughs> what do you say? Mm -hmm. Give it a good shake and pour over either a cube of dry ice. Hold on, wait, so I'm supposed to put the dry ice in there first? Okay, let me just shake it up. Looks ugly. <laughs> It wouldn't be me. Y'all see how in the picture they got it. Do y'all see that? In the picture, I want it to look like this at the top. So I do have a cocktail pit from my handy dandy set that I got. So I see they just have a sage and a blackberry put together. So that's what we about to do. So I can put it at the top. Yeah. I'm gonna do it like this. Why am I so clumsy? Okay. Like this, you guys. Can y'all see it? Alrighty. <laughs> now for the dry ice. Let me move this stuff out the way. Dry ice is right here. I've seen the lady put it on the towels. And, oh, I forgot y'all. I gotta wear gloves. Okay, so I got my gloves. And I got some tongs. All right, time for the real.
I finished making my reel as y'all saw, right? Now, let me be honest. Okay, I'm not gonna say the drink is nasty. It's not that it's nasty. To me, it just has, it has an acquired taste because for one, to me, the taste of sage is so strong. Clear. The taste of sage is so strong and I really don't like, like okay, I've never had sage as far as like taste wise, but just the smell of it is so strong. So I figured that I wouldn't like it because of that, but I was like, you know what, let me just try it. But yeah, that and um, also the blackberry mixture, being that it's like muddled, being that it's muddled, I feel like it's still not, you know, like a complete liquid. So I feel like it was absorbing a lot of the tequila and the lemon juice and the orange, um, what was it, bitters, orange bitters. So I feel like I only really got like two sips of the drink and then the rest of it was just pretty much like me having to, you know, like chew on the, um, blackberries or you know like kind of pour it in my mouth so what i did was i added it to the blender to blend it all up so this is the sage and everything blended up and now i'm drinking like this <laughs> which it still has that strong taste but it's 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 very much so tolerable will you say that it's more tolerable like this though versus the it tastes, it tastes more greeny there like but you felt like it tasted like a liquid? Well, yeah. No, but it tastes like more drink. It has a texture? Oh. That's probably the seeds from the blackberries. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the review on the drink, y'all. But it look cute. It look cute. Will I be making it again? Absolutely not. Hi, you guys. I'm lit. <laughs> it's a little bit later. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, I just got back from the grocery store. I did not bring you guys along. But today, you might as well say today is a day full of making new recipes. So, you know, we already made the drink. Now it's time for dinner. I don't know. I've been in a cook cooking mood today. I cook for breakfast and I cook for lunch. And now I'm about to cook for dinner. But I didn't cook anything new for um, lunch. I just cooked a chicken sandwich and fries. And for breakfast, I just cooked some waffles and turkey sausages links. And then I cut up some grapes. But now we are about to do... Let me see what it's called. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. It's called barbecue chicken grilled cheese sandwich. So let me show y'all what we got from the stall. All right, you guys. So we got some sourdough bread, barbecue sauce, Jack Daniels. We got honey barbecue sauce, parsley, um, organ, uh, onion. No, did I need this? No, I didn't need this, but I needed some more at home. So onion powder, minced garlic, which I wanted to see because. Okay, the recipe called for minced garlic, right? This minced garlic is in olive oil. And then we have the regular minced garlic. Where is it at? This. So which one do we supposed to use? I don't know. But I got the chicken because we got to shred the chicken up. It called for Havati cheese. No, Havati cheese. Never heard of it. So we're about to start, you guys. This is going to be an experiment. And we're gonna see how it tastes because this is my first time. All right, let's add the chicken. It says shredded roast chicken. I don't know what roast chicken is. So we're just gonna take regular chicken breast and roast that, I mean, and you know, saute it. So let's just do a little seasoning salt. It didn't say 
season it, but you know, you got a surgeon on little purple. Purple. All right, we're gonna let that cook, and then we're gonna shut it up. All right, you guys, chicken is done and shredded. Heat oil. In a large skillet. Add garlic. Garlic is how much? It say like three cloves, but what is that? I don't know what no dig on three cloves is in this. We're just gonna do this. I really don't have the time or the patience. Need more of that, Mom. You have one of that chicken. There you go. Bye. Okay. So we gotta add chicken. Okay. One cup of barbecue sauce. So one cup of barbecue. <laughs> Why do I always have to do extra of what it's like? Okay. Paprika. Okay, so update on the recipe that I tried. The chicken was bomb. The chicken was good. The cheese was good. It was good. What I didn't like about it is the bread, after I put the uh, butter and everything on it and I put it in the pan to toast it, the bread was not getting toasted. I don't know if I put too much of the melted butter but it just was not getting toasted. Like it was getting brown as if it was burning, but it just wasn't getting hard. And I ain't like that because you know, it's supposed to be a grilled cheese. I wanted to have that little crunch factor when you're biting into it. If it had that crunch factor, it would have been amazing. So when I showed you guys, I wanted to be able to pull it apart and the cheese be stringy, but it won't give an it. It won't give an it. <laughs> We're gonna try again until I perfect that recipe because the chicken was really good. I liked the chicken. It was good. I like that. As and I already told y'all as far as the drink I had, you guys. That's all we did today. Just a whole bunch of experimenting. <laughs> but I'm laying down now, about to go to sleep. I done took my eyebrows off. 
and I washed my face and I put some bio oil on my face today. I've been having like this, um, I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's like, but on the side of my face right here, it's like really, really dry and textured. So I've been trying to like get that fixed. I do have some medicine that the dermatologist gave me, but it is a steroid cream. And every time I put it, like you're not supposed to put it on your face. But I just be rubbing a little bit. And even when I rub a little bit, it be making my eyes burn. So I might have to go and get something specifically for my face. Because I don't know why it's getting dry right there. But, yeah. So that's it, you guys. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.